I'm Russ, and today I'd like to show you Weights and Biases, the AI developer platform for training and fine-tuning your AI models and delivering AI applications you can trust. Whether you're perfecting your prompts, developing RAG and agentic apps, or fine-tuning LLMs, optimizing Gen AI applications and getting them into production quickly can be a challenge. It's all about experimentation, which means you need to keep track of everything inputs, outputs, metrics, code, and hyperparameters from training to deployment. Without proper tracking, you risk losing track of lessons learned and valuable IP from your experiments, making it harder and possible to reproduce results and forcing you to repeatedly start over rather than focusing on improving and optimizing your application. This not only makes collaboration more difficult, but also slows down your time to market. The solution? a central system of record to iterate, track, and collaborate. Weights and Biases has built an AI developer platform that lets you build and fine-tune your models using models, and then incorporate them into your AI development projects using Weave. You can also use models to build and train scorers for Weave evaluations, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. Our platform records everything in a central repository, registry, storing results from model fine-tuning and evaluations to help with reproducibility, enhance collaboration, and support governance. Now you can deliver Gen AI apps to production with confidence and speed. Let me show you how. In this demo, I'll be playing the role of an online retailer interested in improving the quality of a support chatbot. The chatbot works fine today, but there's an opportunity to eliminate occasional hiccups that require customer support representatives to become involved in relatively simple matters that shouldn't require their time or expertise. To accomplish this goal, we're experimenting with different LLMs and also adding a more comprehensive return policy as our RAG content and product catalog embeddings in a vector database for product recommendations. This is Weave, where you can track the development of Gen AI applications like our chatbot. Let's start by taking a look at the traces to see the details of all the inputs and outputs from the calls we have made to different LLMs. As you can see from the extensive trace history, our approach is defined by iteration, perfecting application code, debugging, monitoring, and continuous optimization across multiple dimensions that include accuracy, latency, cost, and any other metric we want to investigate for our business. Weave allows us to track these numbers over time to ensure that we're always improving our application performance. Our development team tried a number of out-of-the-box LLMs while building our Gen AI application. We're constantly modifying prompts and input data to improve the overall RAG model, which consists of an LLM, a vector database, and a prompt. Weave is the perfect place to experiment with the LLM, RAG content, and prompt changes. Evaluations allows us to measure how much the application is improving using quantitative metrics rather than just vibe checks. Here we can validate that if we make improvements on one metric, we aren't regressing on another. As you can see, Weave allows us to publish and share prompts, models, datasets, scores, and other objects for tracking and reuse purposes through the course of our experimentation. And we can use both out-of-the-box and custom-built scores to check out whether the LLM is making effective use of the provided RAG content or whether hallucinations are corrupting the response. These scores also allow us to establish an objective framework to measure how the application improves in terms of providing correct answers and how long it takes to return those answers. For example, we might choose to make an application more accurate at the expense of application speed. Here we've got the evaluation results for our last four runs, each with a different LLM under the hood. Quad 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini, GPT-40 Mini, and Llama. 321B. All of the trace data is available for each of these runs, but right now I want to quickly take a look at how each of these models scored. I can just click on the name of the overall evaluation and get a leaderboard view that shows how each evaluation fared, and I can sort the columns to rank them. For a more thorough report, I can click on each of these runs and then click the Compare button 
to see how the results from each run stack up against the others. Scrolling down the report, you get a super in-depth metric-by-metric comparison of how well each LLM performed. We can also see and compare the output from each of the LLMs that were used. Evaluations can be used to measure improvements resulting from many different Gen AI techniques, including switching LLMs, prompt engineering, and RAG content embedding strategies. Of course, we can also try to improve performance by fine-tuning the LLM itself. Our fine-tuning process consists of three steps. First, run experiments and optimize hyperparameters to fine-tune the model. Next, identify the best-performing candidate models and publish them in registry. Third, run evaluations using the candidate models. We'll start with the first step, fine-tuning the LLM. Using WMB models, we're able to track and examine our fine-tuning work using the same project where we're building our Gen AI application, Support Chatbot. We initially tried fine-tuning our LLAMA 3.2 model with a popular customer support instruction dataset. Based on previous fine-tuning work, we believe that fine-tuning this model with this dataset could help produce a significantly better chat experience for our customers. We tried it and tested our fine-tuned model, and unfortunately, we didn't get quite the performance improvement we were hoping for. So now we're fine-tuning the LLAMA model using a synthetic dataset that we built ourselves using GPT-4.0. You can see all the training results from all the fine-tuning runs. And here's a parallel coordinates plot. It shows how different combinations of hyperparameters affect metrics of interest, such as accuracy, precision, F1 scores, or text-related evaluation metrics, like our blue score here. Once we've identified a model that we feel is a good candidate, we simply publish that model to registry. I'm gonna select this model here with the highest blue score from our fine-tuning run called Graceful Wildflower 226. I can just click on the artifacts link on the left side and then select the final model from this run and click the link to registry button. Then I select the right registry and collection for our model and publish it to registry. And here's our fine-tuned LLM, now accessible via registry to any individuals or teams with the proper permissions throughout the organization. Registry not only allows us to share the model itself, but also version information, metadata, instructions for how to use the model, the files included in the model package, and the lineage, which includes this graph, which displays both how the model originated and how it's been used since its creation. This information is invaluable for reproducing models and other artifacts when necessary for compliance and auditing purposes. While we're here, I'd also like to point out that both the RAG content and the vector DB embeddings that we use in our chatbot application are stored in registry as well. Now that we have our fine-tuned LLM, Let's switch back over to Weave so we can compare the performance of our Gen AI app with the new model to earlier traces using our out-of-the-box LLMs. Here are those evaluation results from our previous runs along with the results from our fine-tuned LLM. As you can see, the results appear very promising. The improvement over the pre-fine-tuned LLAMA model is significant, and it looks like we're starting to see similar results to our baseline top performer, Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Based on this data, the RAG model we've constructed using our fine-tuned model is definitely an improvement over our currently deployed RAG model and should provide a much better experience for our website visitors and customers. And when we're satisfied with our results, we can go ahead and publish our RAG model with our fine-tuned LLAMA model to registry, kicking off an event-based trigger called an automation that will automatically package and deploy our chatbot updates live. Of course, this was an abbreviated version of an end-to-end -end workflow, but it should give you an understanding of Weave and models and how Weights and Biases, the AI developer platform, offers the collaborative environment to successfully build and deploy generative AI applications with confidence. Thanks for your attention, and I encourage you to begin your AI development journey by signing up for Weave today.